Like who? Video drone, um, Deftones. Maybe uh, Limp Bizkit again? Limp yeah. Bizkit. Little did Linkin Park know they would help to spearhead an entirely new genre of music. Since the invention of metal in the late 60s with Black Sabbath, there have been several interpretations and reinventions of the metal genre. During the 1970s, we saw the arrival of the new wave of British heavy metal bands that included Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, and Judas Priest. Whilst the 80s continued the evolution of metal with bands such as Motley Crue, Poison, and Whitesnake, as well as heavier acts such as Slayer, metal became saturated across the airwaves and fans wanted something new. Um, when you listen to our album, Hybrid Theory, you'll definitely hear that, that we have a unique we have unique influences and, and I don't think you've, you've really heard anything quite like what, what we're doing. Although the 90s were heavily dominated by grunge, a movement that was seen to wipe out the 80s glam metal movement, there was something much darker brewing in the underground music scene. A movement that would change the course of metal music to come. That movement was new metal. <laughs> Although Linkin Park played a big part in the success of new metal, there are two bands that are generally considered to be the founders of the iconic genre, Korn and Limp Bizkit. I want an appetizer. Can you give me some cheese sticks? Hey, is that turkey sandwich? Can I get double cheese? These artists formed in 1993 and 1994 respectively, with Korn being from Bakersfield, California, and Limp Biscuit residing in Jacksonville, Florida. It's just one of those days. It's all about the he said, she said. They were essentially responsible for not only a new genre of music, but an entirely new subculture that would dominate the early millennium. A subculture that would ultimately be Linkin Park's gateway to success. Um, we actually have a street team that we run of, of about a thousand kids across the country that just are diehard Linkin Park supporters. Although other bands such as Slipknot and Deftones were also considered to be founders of new metal, it all started with the self-titled debut studio album released by Korn on October the 11th, 1994. New metal had basically taken aspects of every dominant genre from the last 50 years, which included rock and metal, rap, 80s electronica, and even DJ style sampling and scratching, and combined them all together. If you like uh, The Roots, you'll like Linkin Park. If you like uh, Slipknot, you'll like Linkin Park. And uh, if you like Depeche Mode, you'll probably like Linkin Park. New Metal also brought with it a new variation of anger. Whilst previous genres had come across as aggressive and angry, New Metal expressed a more nihilistic approach to anger, something Linkin Park fans very much recognized in Chester Bennington's lyrics. Lyrically, new metal dealt with bullying, emotional issues, abandonment, and alienation. These were all issues that resonated with a new generation of music fans in the late 90s and early 2000s. These are also issues that would haunt Chester throughout most of his life. 